Danny. Because we know, like if you guys are looking at this, we know there's two discontinuities, right? We know, as we previously did, like we already set this equal, like we're finding the domain. We know, we know the graph cannot equal zero or the graph, or x equals one and x equals zero is not in the domain, right? These are your two discontinuities. These are your two values that are not in the domain. Yes? Everybody agrees with me? Yeah. We just did that. OK. So but what they're not in the domain, but are they asymptotes or are they holes? So the way to do that is if you simplify this or rewrite this in the factored form, let's write this as x times x all over x times x minus 1. Now, by factoring this, you guys can see, oh, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. That means x divided by x is going to be 1. But they divide out. And if they divide out, or can be factored out of my terms, that means they are a whole. So where does the whole occur, though? If x is what divided out, x made the discontinuity at what value? Was x the discontinuity at 0 or at 1? Where is this hole? Where? Where is the hole? Is it at 1 or is it at 0? It's at one of these discontinuities. Which one, like, here, let me do it this way. Sorry. Maybe I should show more work. x minus 1 equals 0. That means x equals 1. So the x follows this pattern, and the x minus 1 goes to that way. So the x divide out. That means x is a whole. So where is the hole? At x equals 0. So we could say there is a hole at x equals 0. Now, when I simplify this, so this gets sim that gets divided out, so I'm left with x over x minus 1. Do you guys see how the discontinuity x minus 1 never got divided out? It remained, right? So therefore, it is a vertical asymptote. So we can say there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. All right. So why don't, whoa, hey. why don't you guys go